Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Monkey88. Uh, today we're playing a little bit of um, Armour Free uh, Fighter Jets. Um, this is where I'm going to try and fly in a jet. This is actually a pre-recorded video. It's part of the uh, few videos that got ruined with the Tomb Raider and um, Shadow of War when I was talking about the uh, future release of games. My voice didn't get recorded onto it for some reason, um, so I do apologise for that. I'm going to try and talk about what we're playing here, and we'll have a little bit of a chit chat again as well, because it's quite good to do that. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm trying to do uh, fighter jets in Armour 3. I've never really done the fighter jets before, so it's all kind of new to me. Um, it didn't go too well, as you will see in the video. Um, but yeah, I wanted to kind of show off the new G GTX 80 Ti as well, so that's what I was kind of doing in this video here. I was just trying to uh, see what the graphics were like. And see if I could fly a jet. Done, this is where we're trying to um, trying to get out of the actual uh, ship. I didn't know what I was doing here. I had no idea. Uh, apparently, I had to pick up some kit as well on, on the table, which I didn't think it, it showed you very well with that. Actually, I think it was a little bit of a rubbish uh, mistake from the game, but it just wouldn't let you wouldn't show you that I had to pick up this helmet before you got out the door, so it's like, I'm here just clueless, running around thinking, what the hell do I do now? And I think, well, I'll just jump into one of these one of these planes, I guess. Uh, but it won't let me do that, so I'm thinking, well, this is fantastic. Um, that's only when I saw the actual checkpoint to get a, a helmet, and that's when it the mission failed, so we started again. Eventually. Um, but yeah, so... If you've not played Armour 3 before, it's kind of like a military simulator, that's how it's best described. Um, it's a game where you have to... Uh, it's, it's quite difficult to play, actually. Um, you have to be very careful, very slow, uh, use cover a lot, and, and the AI is just incredible. They... Um, they just seem to kill you straight away if they, if they see you, sort of thing. But, um... I've, I've, I've enjoyed armor since the days of Operation Flashpoint, to be honest. That's when it sort of first happened for me. I, I think I just picked up Operation Flashpoint randomly one day when it first came out. Um, which, God, that's when that came out. That must have been... That must have been really, uh... Really early on. Let's, just, let's find out, actually. But yeah, I mean, I used to play Operation Flashpoint all the time. Um, it's really hard getting to grasp, but I think because I've played them before, going on to armor, armor games is just really easy for me. Um, when did Operation Flashpoint come out? The original one. 2001. So, you know, about 17 years ago, we were playing Operation Flashpoint, and uh, that was good for its time, I'll tell you that. It's difficult, but it was like I got my helmet this time. So, Try to find our jet, which is that one there. But yeah, on um, Operation Flashpoint, I remember uh, when I first played that game, I just thought it was revolutionary. You know, you had games like Counter Strike, you had games like that, but th that game was just, you know, the first one where you kind of had control over driving different vehicles and things, helicopters especially. Uh, whereas these days it seems so common now that it's not special on armor. Uh, the detail on armor is incredible. Don't get me wrong, the, the realism of armor is absolutely amazing. But here we go, about to take off. This is where I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, it took me a long time to actually. Uh, well, then again, I suppose you had to wait for it anyway, but... But I found out I have to have a space to launch, I have to keep hold of it to launch it as well. But it's great, I mean, look at these guys, I mean, even that detail is amazing. And there we go, sent off. Order two's up, joining on lead. Order one copies, climbing to 1500, heading 050, speed 720, burner intercept. So, this is where I was trying to 
get the grips with flying and stalling already. But I keep yawning today, I'm really sorry. So yeah, so um this is where it's all about the radar and what to look out for the radar, um different enemies, things like that. Do you see anything? Negative. Radar's clean. Roger, stay sharp. Keep your eyes open. Out. And I think we have to we end up finding a, a a bogey eventually, so we have to take him down. But yeah, I mean if you're into sort of FPS games and into realism then this is definitely the, this, the series for you um, Armour 1 and 2, I mean Armour 1 pretty aged a bit now Armour 2, still, people still play a lot of that but it's mainly for the uh, DayZ um, mod uh, and that's still popular and that's where DayZ originated from as well um, sort of Armour uh, I believe I believe the uh, guy who made it scripted a, a mod for Armour um, but yeah I think the only Operation Flashpoint game that kind of changed it all was, uh, was it Dragon Rising or something like that? It was completely different, it didn't work for me at all. They kind of went away from what it was all about before. Just looking up at my shelves, I've actually got armour on the um, disc still too, which is just incredible. It's one of the old games. No, some hostiles now. Box three, box three, rifle, box two. So we're trying to get to grips of how to actually use the uh, missiles and things. Bombs away. I think we actually dropped a couple of bombs there as well. <laughs> oh, I'm such a noob. I just don't know how to play this game at this point. Uh, I say the jets are kind of new to me. I haven't even really put my landing gear up yet. Look at that. I'm gonna go find and put my landing gear up. Look at this look beautiful. Look at this. Look at this shit. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, that's when he took me out. Easy target for him, unfortunately. Too easy for him. So I think we, we we try again and I just think, well I can't have that, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do it again to be honest. But I think clicking resume it obviously put us straight out onto the uh into the sky rather than having to take off and do all the first bit again, thankfully. Do get a better time. Uh, sorry, better look this time. Um, because we certainly didn't do too well that time. But it's definitely hard. I mean, I guess if you keep playing it, then you get better at it. But it is definitely difficult to play this game. Uh, trying to do jets and then helicopters, and just, even helicopters are very difficult to fly. To be honest. Box three. Box three. This is where I'm just trying to shoot before I even get there this time. Rifle. Rifle. Box two. I'm just firing everything. I fired more bombs again. I thought, oh man, this huge weapon and pressing fire and everything. So if it, if it works, why not? I guess. Two. 
Box three. So it's quite cool that you can press Alt to uh, look around the cockpit and try and find him. So I'm looking around for him. There we go, I'm on my tail again now, look. Box two. That's a dead hit. He's ejected there as well. You see him ejecting there, so that's we got him. Difficult game, very hard to play. I think the next thing I have to do is um, take out ground units, I think. And that's uh, that's hard. I, mean, I, I couldn't even do it, to be honest. I'll be honest now, before you even watch it. All enemy jets destroyed. The skies are ours. Quite true. Ground forces are reporting CSAT armor on Hill 87. I'm reach asking you to take them out. How copy? Over. Solid copy. Freeway. Hornet 2, out. So the biggest challenge here is trying to line up with the bombs. Uh, my problem is I don't have many left, so yeah, I have to do another pass on that one. Unfortunately, I'm going far too fast. Now, I'm first, I think that should have been a dead hit, but I apparently missed, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if, if you guys want to watch more armor, um, I'll, I'll need to play online with it as well, and I'll do some online missions. Just let me know in the comments below. Um, I am always eager to do a bit more armor, so I can't actually fire anymore because the uh, no bombs left. But um, yeah, I am I am eager to. to Play armor by all means, but it's just. I don't want to do something that people won't want to watch. So, doing it, so. I don't actually know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I'm on the menus. I think I'm trying to figure out the controls for. Um, what I'm trying to do, actually. Because. Or maybe I was trying to make sure I knew how to do the landing, decrease the, de decreasing the thrust, because otherwise I think we'd be a little bit stuck if we didn't know how to do that. That was lowering my uh, flaps there, I think. It's quite cool, it's like showing a green runway, so you kind of know where you know, the direction of the runway we need to go, it's a bit, I don't know if, I don't reckon that's actually something that happens in real life, but it's like a weird overhead display, isn't it? Then again, it wouldn't surprise me, modern day or future day soldiers, if they start having technology like this, where it's kind of, um, everything's indicated like that, on the visors. There we go, we're trying to line up for the uh, runway, not going too well, because I think we've got quite a tight turn there. And the decrease, the de decrease, I can't say the word decrease for some reason. Decrease the thrust too much, um, so we start to go down a little bit too more. Let's just try and turn that around, level out the plane, slow it down, slow it down. It's going far too fast, far too fast. Hornet two, I'm hit. Message received. Hornet two, abort mission. Over. Roger. Freeway. I'm RTB. And maybe that's why. So, I actually managed to survive the hit, um, the crash, should I say, and, and I uh, wanted to go repair and, and rearm, which I did do, but then after that I couldn't seem to find 
Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't seem to aim or, or find the, the ground targets anymore. They weren't appearing. I wonder if it's because they were doing a bot mission on the uh, voice there. I didn't, I didn't hear that when I was playing. Um, I just saw the thing pop up saying optional repair. So when I did that, I repaired myself, and I couldn't, I couldn't find the ground targets anymore to take out. So yeah, the rest of this video is me just trying to find these ground targets. I think. But anyway. Going nice and easy. Take it slow, take it easy. I just try, I'm struggling to try and like get um, uh, stuff done there, so I'm kind of like creeping forward and not knowing what's going on. But eventually, I saw the pop up saying I have actually been repaired and refueled and rearmed, so that's the runway. Time to take off. If you're taking off, it's easy, it's a landing, that's the trouble. And this is where I'm struggling to find out where these ground targets are. I'm just looking around. Can't finally look at my map a few times. There's just nothing there, and it's it's a bit annoying that really, because it kind of surely it should have done um, mission failed or, or aborted mission after it said that, and I had to go back on, you know, in the air and find these targets and do what I was supposed to be doing, but I couldn't seem to find anywhere that told me where to go after this. So a bit annoying. Looking on the map there, looking it's, it's a big map. Um, to try to run. That distance is impossible on this game. It's it's a huge map on this game. So if you like your open world sort of stuff, then this is definitely a game. It's beautiful on the ground as well. The graphics are amazing. Um, so it's definitely a good game to play. I, I've always enjoyed it. And there's many other sort of games online as well. It's like Armor Life, which is basically where you you can role play and play as like a day to day person, like an officer or things like that. And that that's interesting to play. Definitely interesting to play. Um, and they've got the zombie mods and things like that on this exile and things like that which you should check out uh, definitely check out some YouTube videos of those games and those game modes and you know maybe I'll do some videos on that eventually as well uh, and if you guys want to join me on that you can by all means just send me a message and we can get some time together and play um, but yeah I do enjoy armor 3 I do enjoy the armor sort of series and, and Operation Flashpoint as well so if you do want to watch more videos of me playing that then then let me know let me know guys all you have to do is let me know where I'm actually struggling to find out where I need to go. There's just no indication of anything anywhere. Nothing on the map that says go here, go there. It's insane how this game seems to work. When you've, uh, you know, I crash landed a little bit but survived it and I've seen to glitch down the actual mission now.
I mean, going back to those graphics, I mean, look at the detail on that, on that plane. It's incredible. Um, they do go into a lot of detail with the vehicles and the actual objects. And even the scenery does look good. I mean, it's better than some of the uh, flight simulators that you've got out there. And uh, if you um, if you go up close to the scenery as well, it looks really good. And there's wildlife, etc. So this, they've done a good job of Bohemia on this game. Um, so yeah, kudos to them. I really do give them a lot of respect for this sort of game. I don't know what they're doing, let's put it that way. Now I'm just like, assuming that it might be over here somewhere, but I, don't, I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea where this armor is at all. Just dropping bombs anywhere now, really. Trying to level this town, I think. Even though the timing's completely wrong there. Look how far off that bomb was. I don't even saw the explosion. That's the quickest way to turn around, right? Box three. Just love Box three. destroying anything now. I've given up at this point, I think. It's not knowing anything about where I need to go. And that's when I realised, oh look, it's there. <laughs> I, just, I didn't look at it properly on the map. Um, but by this time I kind of just thought, well okay, I'll go back and rearm again. And we'll go and get them. So we're heading back towards the runway at this point. Um, but yeah, it's... It is good fun. Gears down again. That's the runway, and this time I, uh, I think I do a really good job at the uh, lining up this time. You know, I'm, I'm got well enough time to get in position here, making my way towards it, slowing down my speed. Flaps down. I personally think I'm doing okay, but I don't know what happens. So, I mean, I'm going fastish, but not as fast as it was the first time I landed here. But unfortunately, bad landing. And that was it. Uh, I think that's kind of where I rage quit a little bit and thought, well, I can't do this anymore. I uh, don't really want to go again, so I ended the uh, game there. But like I say, if you want some more armor, armor videos, I know I've done a couple already on the channel um, of single player games, but I will. I am. Uh, up for doing some multiplayer stuff, some Armour Life or Daisy or XR Mod or something like that. Um, this video is kind of like more of a testing out the jets and also showing off the uh, 1080 Ti, um, which graphically I don't think you can tell too much on this video anyway. Uh, it does look really impressive, but I don't think it's much different to my old 980 that I had before. But I hope you enjoyed watching it, I hope you enjoyed me blabbering on a little bit. Um, 
and, and sort of, and just I do apologise that the voice wasn't live like I wanted it to be initially. Uh, obviously, I had some recording issues back then on this video, um, but at least we've got some voice on here anyway. But hope you enjoy watching it, guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.